Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. Today I'm joined by my friend and fellow YouTuber Sam from the Greenacre Homestead. We're going to be building this front porch awning for my workshop. So if you want to see this build, then stay tuned. So to get started, we're going to cut two 4x4s to 9 foot, and that's going to be the base up here for the awning. All right, the first step is going to be cutting this down to 9 foot. The studs on my shop here are two together for the door and then quite a space for the next one. So we have decided that it's going to be important to remove this piece of trim. And so I'm going to have to cut up here and then move this one so we can access those uh, two by fours. All right, I removed this piece here and I'm going to use my Japanese pull saw to remove the uh, last little piece of the molding. Molding? What's it called? Trim? Trim, yeah. <laughs> the trim work up here. One of my most common comments is, you should learn the terminology. And I usually respond with, yes. Now that we have these boards cut and the trim work removed, we're going to be using some very large anchor bolts to attach the 4x4s to the shop itself. We're going to be using a 2x4 as the ledger board across these two and you can find the measurements to cut this to 67 and a half. Now we have both of the tall posts installed and we've measured the board and cut the board that will go as a ledger piece up top here. The next cut is going to be the pieces that come forward from this 4x4. We want the roofing material, which is metal roof down here, to come out to the end of, um, of that and cover all of the wood. So anyway, that said, we want to cut a board that is uh, 37 inches long. be using these four inch lag bolts to attach the 2x4 ledger board to the 4x4. Now that the lag bolts have been put into the 2x4 into the 4x4 and we have cut that 45 in there to give it a nice uh, decorative look. We're going to cut the angled braces that will support this piece to the side of the building. And to do that, we're going to put a 45 into the end of this board, move out approximately uh, two foot, 10 inches, and cut the other 45, and that will make the corner brace. We're going to use the workbench as a 90 degree reference point to get the supports attached here. That way, whenever we go to put it up outside, it will already be assembled. have the first part of the frame up here and uh, it's actually turning out better than we even expected. So now we want to have a board that spans between these two to complete the front. 
and that needs to be exactly 59 inches. Now we're going to cut the king post. That's going to be the center vertical column on this build. I'm going to do seven inches on a four by four and also seven inches on a two by four. Okay, so we've previously cut the two boards that go out from the building. We're going to also cut a third one that is the very topmost, or I guess the ridge. And uh, we already have a 45 on this piece. I'm going to chop that so it makes the same uh, little chamfer or whatever that's called. And then we're going to cut that to uh, 38 and a half to, um, to match up that ridge distance. We were a little bit concerned that the uh, anchor bolts or lag screws would uh, split this 2x4. So we're just going to use some 3 inch screws to hold this into place. You ready for some on-camera math? Sure. Okay. What is 60 and a quarter inches divided by 2? 30 and an eighth. 30 and an eighth. Luckily, these wasps aren't uh, aggressive right now. Yeah. We, we've not gotten anything done if they were. Just looking at the project would have yeah. been the end. The project would have been returning the stuff to the store. So when I fall off the ladder, you'll have it documented. Yeah, insurance claim. There's no whoops on YouTube. Oh, I mean, perfect. Yeah. Definitely want to give a big thanks to Sam for all of his help. Never would have gotten this done without him. So we had uh, no cut list or anything. We just got out here and started thinking and making plans and this is what we came up with. So uh, back out here today and I'm gonna go ahead and get the metal installed up here. So let's do that now. Up top, my rafters are cut to slightly under five foot. And so I'm gonna make these metal pieces five foot and about four inches. So I'll have a little overhang on the side and uh, that should be plenty here. So uh, five foot and four inches. And I'm just going to cut this with an angle grinder at this length here. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to access all of this to get it screwed in, but we'll give it a try here. See what happens. I 
went ahead and turned the ladder a different way and I was able to get the first sheet of metal up here and I actually got all of the screws in there and it seems to be nice and solid. So I will try to bring you along for the other half tomorrow. The sun is going down so I'll have to uh, try this again later but not exactly sure how I'm going to get the ridge cap uh, screwed in. Uh, I may just have to lean over as best I can and uh, get as far as I'm able. Um, but that piece is right over here in my scrap metal pile. So I will be back whenever there is more light. Both sides of the roof are now on and they look great. You can see where I had this side on last night and it has protected the porch by a couple of feet there, which is really great. Uh, so now the last step is to cut down the ridge cap and uh, I wanna cut this at 39 and a half inches and then I'll put that up there and we should be done. I've been wearing uh, gloves, glasses, earplugs, and then my safety mask just to make sure I'm not gonna get any of this fine particle into my face or eyes. And the front door awning is complete. I like it. So it's got these nice secure beams going up, three really good anchor bolts as the single piece of tin ridge vent or ridge cap is put on there and uh, it's looking great. Now the one change I may make later is I might put some foam on that ridge so that uh, wasp and other bugs don't make their homes up there. And I may eventually close in that. Um, just put a piece of plywood or something up there with some uh, uh, fascia boards and uh, just close it up so that doesn't have any bugs and it'll kind of match the rest of the building there. Let's grab some drone footage real quick so you can see what it looks like from up top. very pleased with the final results of the workshop front door awning. I think this is going to keep out the rain and snow from the door and I was having a lot of build up here right at the edge of the door um, and as you can see a regular rain is being stopped right here on this board so I'm thinking a blowing rain will make it in a little further but shouldn't get up to the door as it has been. And also, in this area, I don't expect us to have any more than 10 pounds worth of snow up on this roof. So, as far as load goes, should be plenty. And uh, I fully anticipate that these lags here and the three that I put in the main support will be more than enough to hold this up. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you know somebody that's looking to make an awning, Please share this on your Facebook and YouTube and all those places that you share. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Behind the scenes. Blend a house contemplation series, <laughs> part one. Yeah, that would be incredibly boring. <laughs> <laughs>